Hey you guys, I am starting the vlog super unconventionally today. So we just flew in to uh, Miami and it is seven o'clock. We have a dinner reservation in 30 minutes. We are staying at the Fountain Blue. I have a, um, like a room tour that will be either before this video or after this video, I don't know. But, ow, trying <laughs> to run to the parking garage or the valet area to get our car. We tried to call them to bring it to us, but like the number was out. Anyways, hi. <laughs> um, so standing here, they have so many, um, what are these called, fiddle leaf trees. Anyways, I don't know how much you just saw because we got lost. Um, we're waiting for our car, we're at the valet, and we are still confused. For some reason, they did away with the phone call valet, so I kept trying to call ahead, and uh, I guess you can't request it until you're here, so now we're, we gotta wait 15 minutes With here. like 50 other people who are waiting for their car. Of people, and now as always, we're gonna be now running late. <laughs> We're always running late. There's always something. No, we're never running late. We're running late only in the vlogs when we have like a dinner reservation. And it's a which 20 minute right drive, now. which is right now. Anyways, we're going to Sea Spice. Um, it is a recommended restaurant from Victoria, our dear lovely friend who comes to Miami all the time. So she said that's like one of the restaurants on the top of her list to check out and then I also talked to another dear friend from New York who sent us like a million um, recommendations here which we really appreciate and also Sea Spice was on the list so we made the reservation last week before we flew in just to make sure we could get in and it's Thursday night you guys we barely got this reservation so we're excited we're probably going to be a little bit late but anyways we just we flew in today at like 11 30 a.m and we left philly it was literally snowing i thought our flight might be canceled or delayed but it was fine we flew out in the snow anyways it's so nice because it's been like 81 ish all day whereas where where we are from in philly it was like 25 something like that anyways it's really cold so i have my handsome gentleman I love being a boy mom. Sorry, sorry. This one. Oh, did you get hurt? And this gentleman here. What's up? Just admiring all the all nice the cars out here. All the beautiful vehicles. The two wagons, the like 10 Lamborghinis. Okay, there's three Lamborghinis. Must be nice. All right, so we made it out to Sea Spice. A uh, very beautiful place. It's oh. Thursday night and it's super packed. Oh yeah, it's a Thursday night. We are on the water here. Uh, very beautiful place. You have like yachts pulling up and they're serving people on their yachts. Um, super cool. Um, the food looks good. We ordered some Iberian ham. Because uh, Lena and Gana, they went to Spain, they raved about it, and we this was... This is our Utah vlog. We went to Utah, we had Iberian ham because of Alina and Gana. So, so now, anytime we see Iberian ham, we're like, you know what, let's let's order it. Alina and Gana would, so let's let's do it. Shout so, out to Gana! Um, I don't know, maybe it doesn't look that appetizing but here, guys, but... it always like melts in your mouth, it's so soft and... So there's something about it. Like yeah. prosciutto, but like ten, ten times better. Yeah, very delicious. So this is like a beef, like short rib pasta, very popular dish here. We got a Caesar salad as well, looks amazing. And then Taras got a Wagyu burger. At this point, I don't know if you can hear anything, you guys, but we are so excited to eat because we've been waiting for over an hour. It is popping. Good morning, you guys. It is such a stunning day today. It's Friday morning. We are making our way down to the pool. Taras reserved um, some chairs for us right there. And it's already so packed. He went down there at 8 in the morning and there was not a single chair left. Somehow he, I mean like by the pool. There's like random chairs down here that are open. But he was able to snag a chair. Here's our little view from our beach chairs or pool chairs. 
He's not, he's just yeah. taking a walk. We are, it's like 9.30 right now. And we're already kind of hiding in the sun because it is hot, hot, hot. So anyways, it's such a stunning day. I think I already said that upstairs. Okay, it just I'm feels like, so nice out. Wait, no, and we're just happy to be throw here. It to me. I throw it to you. So cute. All right, you guys, so it is dinner number two, dinner reservation number two. We are doing Italiano, Italian today. I don't know if Italiano is even a word <laughs> in any language. Um, but anyway, so we are excited. We are so hungry. <laughs> today, we didn't get to eat. Um, Mientras didn't eat breakfast because we never really do. We actually had breakfast reservations for every single morning here. But we canceled everything because we just wanted to sleep in. And I'm glad we did because that gave Taras an opportunity to run downstairs at 8.30 and reserve chairs. <laughs> so, What's up? You, you look so cute. You know, I was going to tell you something. I was doing a little calculation. And you were right. It would be cheaper to get an Uber and a Lyft the entire time here rather than renting a car yeah we had a lot of issues renting a car because we did not reserve anything in time there was everything was sold out like i'm not kidding all the yeah. hertz but even Enterprise. if we didn't it's just it's just more convenient i guess well with the valet's yeah. been taking a while over here plus your pain i just checked hold on what's on this thing for some reason my eyes are so like underneath you guys i don't know why in real life it's not like that okay. 52 bucks a night for valet and we're only going out like once to once a day for reservations we would have gone out twice which it would have breakfast. cost us like 18 bucks Haranzi. so um, i don't know that's whatever. what i was coming i didn't know you were recording but yeah. <laughs> tip for the rest of you guys i don't know, do your calculations well then again we came it here could possibly better just to uber around but the guy and yeah if you're not going many places the guy told us at the rental at the airport that it's just such a busy week because it's the holiday it's like a five-day weekend so, yeah, I, I got so much sun today. Um, I wanted to show you guys my outfit, but now that I saw myself, I have like the worst sunburn. I don't know what happened there, but I love my little Cinderella shoes. Uh, first time I got to wear them, they're like the acrylic heel. They're a dupe for that one popular heel. Got these at Macy's like six months ago, I think, and they were like 30 bucks, 20 bucks. I don't know, something super ridiculously cheap, but I thought this was a cute way to kind of gl glam up the outfit. And then the romper is from Zara. I am literally the world's worst vlogger in existence. I know. Whoa. <laughs> Lighting is atrocious. So, we <laughs> what, is, what is today? Today is... Today I don't feel like doing anything. Today is Saturday. And, wow. <laughs> today is Saturday. Now it's Saturday evening. And I literally brought my camera, made sure to charge the battery, put it in the beach bag, and I never took it out. That just means I had a really good, fun, eventful day. So basically, I guess like a quick recap so I don't forget once we fly back in and then I look at the footage. <laughs> um, we rented a cabana on the beach today. We like pre-booked it because it was like every cabana was fully like sold out in like the good area and the lady there convinced us to grab it before everything else was sold out but anyways we actually had a really nice spot and um i had a couple girls write to me on instagram asking if this place is worth it if it's like the hype that people say that it is and i know a lot of people also visit the one hotel here in miami the one hotel, the W, and the Ritz Carlton. I think those are like some of the top, or like I guess more well known rest, I mean, not restaurants, well, hotels. And I have not been to any of the, those. We've only ever stayed on like the western part of Florida. So this is the first time that we're actually staying in Miami. Um, and honestly, so far, I would say that, hi, honey. <laughs> He's like, he's like sliding in like really quietly like Sliding into those DMs <laughs> He literally did slide into our, my DMs on Facebook though Anyways, um, I would say in our experience Obviously everyone has like different like things on their list of what they expect in hotels I think that we were a little bit more skeptical about this place Because I feel like at this point everyone has stayed here a million times over And I felt like maybe 
it's like um, overhyped if that's like and, and no offense to anyone who was here it's just that mindset of is it just to come here because of the name or is it actually really nice and I'm just being fully fully honest we really truly do love it here I don't know what the main hotel is like we are staying in an Airbnb I don't know if there's a difference um, we're here during pandemic so we're not getting room service we're not getting cleaning service we're getting like zero it's literally just like I don't know an apartment at this point, um, but that doesn't bother us. I mean, we, that's kind of expected anywhere at this time in our lives during this quote unquote pandemic. So we're actually, I'm sorry if the lighting is really bad. We're actually really enjoying it. Um, I definitely do recommend it. I can't say how the other hotels here are because we've never been there. They do look beautiful. We always look into the one hotel and every time that we wanted to fly in for like a quick weekend, they were just like booked. Booked, booked, booked. <laughs> so even here, it was hard to like plan the trip. But anyways, um, so far we're loving it. It's honestly just like, it's great. It is definitely really busy today, considering it's Saturday. And I think people are just coming here even for like a day, maybe just a night. It was so packed, but thankfully Taras like reserves everything. Yeah, baby. Um, can we be on the iPad while we, when you guys talk? During dinner? No. When? When we all get talking, like... No, we have to do our peek and pit. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Yeah, we have to do that. They want to be on the iPad, and tradition is they can't be on their iPad at dinner time unless we talk about our day, catch up, like uninterrupted talking, and then they can get on anyways. You guys, it is complete and utter chaos. Then I said to drop us off in the middle of the street. There are cops everywhere. It's like impossible to drive or park or get in. We're like 10 minutes late to a reservation, as always. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if this is like typical Miami where there are cops like causing so much traffic. There's like so many VIP people where you can't like even drive. But is stuck at the same light for the last 15 minutes. He's the second car at the light and he cannot see through. Thank God we like jumped out and ran over here and they were nice enough to still feed us because technically it's packed here and um, we don't have a room number here baby. That's not for the condo honey, we're here. Like, What's our room number for Wi-Fi? Like, it's not gonna work here buddy. Anyway, so it's just like very lively to say the least. I tried to um, show you guys the nachos, but the lighting as you can see is so perfect. Just diving in here. So yummy. Dude, they are so messy, so good. That's like, I don't even know how I can eat this. I feel like I have to pick it up to show you guys. Those are some loaded nachos. This actually kind of reminds me of that Mexican restaurant that we went to in Utah. Yummy, like loaded nachos, like nice, loud Miami vibe. Well, now we are in Miami. <laughs> every time I got a, every time I take a bite, I gotta wipe my face. That's a good sign. So good. My jalapenos are so hot. Jalapenos are hot. Ooh, I got jalapenos in my drink. I don't do that. It's not in my drink. Everything's spicy. So, what did you just say? Why did you bring your vlogging camera? He's like, why did you bring your vlogging camera? I'm like, because I'm vlogging? It's just funny how like, my five-year-old child is asking why I'm vlogging. I don't know, son. I don't know. <laughs> oh, by the way, this place, highly recommend, probably. If not my favorite, my second favorite from all the food we've eaten here in Miami. Just saying. All right, you guys. <laughs> it's our last day. And I realized that I literally did not pick up my vlog camera throughout the day here at all. I would kind of like remember that I'm supposed to be vlogging, 
basically towards dinner time and now I look like a freaking mess. My hair is wet and gross and just like sweaty and sticky and filled with sunscreen and sunburn. But I guess it's like at our last day I'm gonna finally update you guys and take you for like a quick tour through the area, the ground. Just kind of catch you up to speed with, with what is going on here. I'm going to put a couple of disclaimers. It is the weekend. We flew in here on Thursday. So we basically had the full weekend experience and now it's Sunday night and it's very crowded and I can assume that it's always crowded. Somebody told us here at work or was like, you guys, it's always like this on the weekends. Um, but yeah, it's the fountain blue is what happens. But um, we don't mind that. That is a disclaimer. If you do not like a place that is always like, I don't wanna say party, but right now it's like party vibe. There are so many people that are just like litty, <laughs> having a lot of fun. There's like loud music. It is family friendly in my opinion, but it's not like a private, you know, experience here. It's a very popular hotel. They do accommodate families, but it is definitely very lively. It's very hard to find a chair. It's literally impossible. We overheard another couple talking. So Taras is here every morning by like seven in the morning, 7.30 to try to get any kind of chair. And it's like impossible. And another couple, an older couple was like, we were here at 6 a.m., like 6.05, and we could not find a single chair. This, because I guess it's Valentine's Day. People are just waking up and snagging chairs. But anyways, we like the busyness, we like to people watch, we like to feel like it's lively because it just kind of puts you in that vacation mood. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the grounds just so you can get an idea. It is also very, I, I wanna say like dirty. <laughs> <laughs> at this point because people have been camping out here all day long so there's like towels everywhere but I don't want that to be misleading in any sense because it's a very classy hotel but it does get busy and crowded and people are just leaving their crap everywhere to be honest doesn't bother me none <laughs> as long as I have a chair I'm fine but it is getting to the point where people are just kind of like you know parking their stuff and I don't know, pretending they're at home, I guess. So yeah, I will show you guys the situation. It's like a little uncomfortable to be vlogging because it's so busy and everyone's kind of staring at you with the camera, but I will do my best, do my duty, just so you guys can kind of see. I hope I don't get like punched in the face for being in people's business, but this is kind of the situation at this point. It is so packed. This is the main pool area here. Oh, why is my camera zoomed in? There you guys, hold on, there you go. Um, this is the main pool area where everybody basically like vibes the entire day. This is the main bar area where you can order food and drinks. The line is usually like to the trees. But um, it's really nice here. <laughs> For us, this is cool right now. People are just kind of like leaving their crap everywhere. It gets like that towards the end of the day. But yeah, it's very, <laughs> very litty. And again, it is Sunday, and I feel so bad recording everybody. Excuse me, everybody. And this is Saras's and I's location. We're usually kind of like on this strip next to the cabanas, and then my kids chill in like the smaller pool here. And I'm gonna just keep walking and pretend I'm not recording everybody because I don't know if I'm allowed to be doing this. Anyways, another small pool, and I should have done this in the morning. So yeah, we're basically here usually. And then here is like this cool little area where you can rent the cabana in the center and then all the other cabanas around. My kids love jumping into this pool. So this is the walk down to the beach and kids pool. So we just came from this area, made the little loop-de-loop. -loop. And we are staying in this building here, the Trester building. There's a lot of Airbnbs available here, whereas the main hotel is across this strip. All right, so here's Noah, I just caught up with the fam. This is the kids' pool. Um, again, it's very crowded right now. I do have to say, I feel like it gets pretty packed in here after like 1 p.m. where everybody kind of wakes up. This is a lot of fun for Zion's age. I mean, there's only one slide, but Zion loves it. It keeps him entertained, and he meets a lot of kids that are his age right here. There is a height requirement. I did have a lot of moms mention that they love that there's a slide. We're back to that circular area. Let me take you guys back. How stunning is this, though? Like, this vibe right here, wow. It's very windy. I hope you guys can hear me. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is such a nice hookup if you're here with friends. Just like rent a couple cabanas, if not that main one. It's definitely a little bit steeper in price. Most of these run close to $1,000, at least on the weekends. 
just to rent one of them, just being honest. I think these right here are a little bit cheaper. I think the guy told us 600 a day. It has like TVs in there, a little fridge. So that's like, that's a pretty decent deal. And then you also get like these chairs in the front. The ones, the cabanas by the main pools are $1,000 a day just because of the location. They are the same exact cabanas as these. They're just in a better spot. So he said, basically, if you're over there, you're paying for prime real estate, which was pretty funny. I don't know if you guys can hear me, it's very windy. The beach area is definitely like a smaller area. I would say like compared to maybe most tropical places, but it is Miami Beach. So like the strip of sand from the hotel to the water is definitely pretty small. Um, but it doesn't bother us much, but if you want the privacy, you're not gonna get it here. All right, so here is the main beach area. As you see, this is where the sand starts and then it ends right there. So it's very quick. Um, but it's, it's enough if you just want that experience. It's nice because you have the poolside service here with like the drinks and the food. So there's no shortage of that. The water is definitely very wavy right now. I know it's not always this way, but it's definitely like not my preference for swimming. Oh my gosh, it's like so stunning out because the sun is gonna be setting in about, I think I'd say, 45 minutes and right now the sky just looks so powdery and so like pink you can kind of see that just across the water and it's just like so pretty I'm definitely gonna miss the most just like having that hot air on you and just sitting on the balcony like to me this is goals more than even just being in the pool and by the ocean this is just so pretty and so relaxing I wish I could just bottle up this feeling. The sun is literally setting and my hair is not done for dinner yet but I wanted to show you guys my little surprise this morning. So it's Valentine's Day and Taras and I had discussed that we are not doing anything. No gifts, no just nothing. Just waking up, just being here alone is the gift, you know? And then of course I get woken up by the boys barging into the room with um like a rose from each one of them and then Taras set out these roses along the counter in the kitchen this morning which was like so romantic got me chocolate just like something so like not nothing big or extravagant not that anything ever has to be but it was just so special because we literally promised which is like naughty naughty because he's not supposed to do that it was sweet to just wake up and feel like loved and appreciated when we said we wouldn't do it. <laughs> I guess I should have been a little bit more romantic in that sense because I literally did squat diggity. <laughs> I guess I'll give him like a massage tonight or something. But anyway, you guys, people are packed. Stunning. So stunning and they smell so good, but people are stacked. Like, sar are packed like sardines. Oh, right there. Trying to get out of here. And there's people all inside here. It almost looks like a train station in New York City. There's so many people that are waiting for their cars to be like brought out to them because that's the departure um, valet in the Tresser building or right outside of it. So it's so fun to people watch. That's like our favorite thing with Taras to have like our coffee in the morning over the window and be like, <laughs> what's the tea today? We are all packed up to head back to the airport. It is almost 9 a.m. Things here are still hustling and bustling. Everyone's still reserving their chairs early in the morning on a Monday. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us and we'll catch you in our next one.